kya form indicating over here all the upper extremities can be covered by activating this particular region now the patient is complaining about the shoulder pain or the clavicle pain or the neck pain or the back pain or the knee pain so on we try to understand about the upper extremities especially that is the elbow pain or the wrist pain we try to understand this is the area to be known as a scapula remember this is the entire area to be known as a helix this is the entire area to be known as a helix now the scapula is midway this is the helix this is the anti helix remember this is the helix this is the anti helix midway between these two to be known as a scapula right so in between this now i try to start from this area this area because this is the uh, brain area below this this part to be known as a this entire area to be known as a lobe right above this lobe this is the inferior margin of the brain you understand this is known as a clavicle this is known as a clavicle from the clavicle this area to be known as a shoulder joint remember it's very important patient is complaining about the left shoulder pain so that indicating the left shoulder issues can be treatable by using this particular point we wanted to know where precisely that location is located now you remember this is the crest of the helix so you just understand from the crest of the helix is directly you come forward towards the scapula this particular region to be known as a shoulder joint but not the shoulder so how many shoulder joints are there four shoulder joints one joint to be known as a sternoclavicular joint the second joint to be known as a clavicular clavicular acromioclavicular joint the second joint to be third joint to be known as a humerus glenohumeral joint the fourth joint to be known as a scapulothoracic joint so this the entire joints can be covered by activating to the single point when the patient is complaining i do have the pain shoulder pain but i don't have the shoulder joint pain so that indicating we wanted to know ex precisely where exactly the points is the pain is there so you just apply the pressure you remember you just give the pressure this is the crest of the helix you come down you give the pressure if the patient is complaining no pain then you need not to apply over the treatment if the patient is complaining i do have the pain in this region then you just understand the shoulder pain is there so that particular region you try to give the, this is is a probe which giving the pressure to understand about the disease pathology where is it existing now the problem is in this region the person is not feeling any kind of the pain in this region that indicating there is no issues on this region then you just apply in this particular region patient is complaining yes i do have the unique pain over in this region then you just apply take one you know press needle and then give it to me the press needle is that seed seed yes so i'll take this seed needle yes now i just using the intradermal needle or embedding needle just i want it so insert to the shoulder related shoulder pain not the shoulder joint pain now you just press it and then leave it ask the patient to give the continuously manipulation a minute or two maximum 3 minutes can be given but make sure it's causing the too much severe and unique pain is there that causing some kind of the inflammation internally then you just the patient feel uncomfortable because of that pain so you just remove it off don't let it be if the practitioner told that let it be there for 3 days this need and patient is always is feeling some kind of the pathetic pain so that time no somebody told to place it for 3 days again after 3 days there will be some inflammation and infection on the tree chain definitely that will not be recommended if the patient feel discomfort ask him to withdraw the needle quickly let it be there and you ask them to give the pressure without needle also that specific region can be recommended to give the pressure patient itself can keep giving the pressure on this particular region now we wanted to apply to the pain is on the shoulder region either in terms of the tennis elbow or the golfer's elbow if the patient is getting the pain you just give the pressure 
So whether do you have the pain in this region, you just check with the patient. Yes, I do have the pain in this region. Then you just take one seed and then apply the semen vaccaria. Semen vaccaria sagittalis seeds can be recommended to apply. Whether you want it to apply the needle itself, better you can use the micro needle or you can use the some half chew needle also recommended to insert the needle. Right, we just applied for the elbow pain. So the patient is, you wanted to apply multiple needles on that region, it is recommended to use the some more needles on this particular region. Because here I can understand nearly 1 mm to 2 mm area covers here. 1 mm to 2 mm area covers here. That's the reason we apply 2 to 3 needles if the patient is complaining about the shoulder pain or the elbow pain. Right. Now the pain is on the wrist region. Osteoarthritis or some kind of the knee pain is the arthritis. So that particular condition, the wrist pain, you just insert the needle over here. The fingers having the numbness, the neuropathy conditions is there. That particular time, we just insert the needle for the fingers as well. Now we completed the entire scapa region, right? So at the same time, we wanted to understand about the triangular fossa, especially for the knee pain and also to treat for the hypertension and also pelvic cavity. We remember to apply some of the needles especially on the region of the triangular fossa we try to understand here now this particularly you understand the upper part of the triangular fossa is recommended to insert here to treat for the hypertension the person is having the nearly 200 to 100 is a systolic and diastolic that condition also it is recommended to insert the needle in this region also another point to be known as the apex of the ear you just fold this when the apex of the top, ear this to be known as the top of the ear so that particular time we use the three edge needle or the lancet to insert and then withdraw the maximum amount of the blood is recommended that to be known as a ear cupping method so needle cupping method so needle withdrawing the un un amount of the blood so that also which is unwanted definitely that will be useful to do that for the hypertension now the another point to be known as a sciatica related problem and the constipation. So that conditions can be treatable in the in this horizontal direction. I just inserted in the transverse direction of the needling. This one way is good to treat for the constipation and also for the sciatica related problems as well. Now hopefully we understand the triangular fossa. Another few points are there, but I'll try to explain you in the next moment. The another point to be known as a knee pain conditions. So where is the knee pain? Exactly now we come the pelvic cavity on the triangular fossa. So now the entire region to be known as a triangular fossa or the deltoid fossa. Where the last part of the triangular fossa, this point to be known as a treatable for all the male and female below the navel and abdominal related disorders. Anything known and unknown cases of the diseases, you just insert the needle or we just use the embedded or the seeds that definitely will be helpful to the patient to treat for the number of the diseases. But hopefully you have seen when the, how to do this procedure. Normally every day can be treatment can be given. Every three days treatment can be given. Otherwise it is recommended to apply the needle, you know, the embedded needle for the span of a week. Later weekly once ask, ask them to come to the uh, clinic centers and then you just insert the needle allow them to keep giving the pressure but this is the continuously treatment how the embedding therapy how the cat cat therapy is there we just insert the thread inside the skin system to dissolve that naturally for the span of 15 days so continuously activation period to be taken place hopefully you understand in this way we insert the needle various kinds of the modalities as well now we completed this the entire you know, which we called as a triangular fossa and this is the sciatica, the other one is, is the hypertension, the next one is which we call as a pelvic cavity. Superior to the pelvic cavity, the people who are suffering for the, especially for the OA, osteoarthritis of the knee pain that definitely can be treatable by activating to the certain point, that point to be known as a, that point to be known as a knee pain in this region so now it is recommended the person is suffering the entire 2 mm area has been covered this is according to the 
This is according to the European acupuncture and also Chinese acupuncture. It's slightly, it get deeper. Now, just I apply to the one needle for the knee pain, the other, another needle for the knee pain. So this point also to be known as a where is the anterior to the pelvic cavity, that point also to be treatable for the knee pain according to the European acupuncture. So hopefully for the knee pain we integrated, we applied these two needles at the same time. I advise you to apply the kidney points as well, liver point as well, spleen point as well because there is some protocol, NADA protocol or some kind of the TCM protocols are existing. Those protocols can be treatable by activating some of the integrated points. Knee pain is there. Knee pain is not the reason to cause the knee pain. Remember, there is a numerous reasons to cause the knee pain. That indicating you treat for the muscular system, you treat for the tendinosis system, you treat for the nervous system, you treat for the bone system, so on. Right, so now we just applied the entire area has been covered from the triangular fossa, the deltoid fossa and then in scapa to treat for the extremities. However, we wanted to understand about the back pain and then of course is the cervical pain is the most crucial and here I would like to address you, you just apply the needle on the cervical region. Now the patient is complaining for the cervical pain, you start from the cervical vertebras here. You just insert the perpendicularly. This is a cervical vertebra. Good. This is a cervical vertebra. We just applied the surface level. Nearly it has gone to the 0.2 mm needling. Right. Now the cervical vertebra. After this, we wanted to apply to the thoracic vertebra. Thoracic vertebra. I just apply the needle to the thoracic vertebra. So where exactly superior to this, the entire crust to be equivalent to the thoracic vertebra. Yes. Slightly posterior to that. This region is, yes exactly. This is the thoracic vertebra. Now the thoracic vertebra, how many vertebras totally? 12 vertebras, right. Let it be hanging, that also can hang. So it's not that to stick the needle, but hanging also can be recommended. So now this is the thoracic vertebra and this is the lumbar vertebra. You remember the person is suffering for the, the person is suffering for the low back pain. In this particular situation, definitely we can use the sum of the needle in this particular region, especially on this region is the low back, this region, yes. Good. This is very good. This is the horizontal or the needling called as a transverse needling towards the spine. Now we understand this is. Now the people who are suffering for the hip pain and then buttocks pain. <coughs> buttocks pain causing the problem of the sciatica, the preformis muscle. Hip pain also causing because of the L4, L5, S1 gets compression. So that particular region definitely we can use the points to be known as a, we can use the points to be known as a, I think somebody will just come over here and then apply to the buttocks area. Yeah, please apply, you just withdraw the same needle, you just withdraw the needle over here, withdraw, and then apply the needle to the buttocks area in this region. Right, good. Good, that's quite enough. So this is the buttocks area and then hip area is located on this region, this is the hip area. So now in this way we integratedly apply to the back pain, knee pain, cervical pain, vertebras and all. At the same time the abdomen, <coughs> where is the chest cavity, where is the abdominal cavity, where is the you know uh, pelvic cavity. We remember from here is this is the neck region, this is the chest region. This is the abdominal region. This is the sciat this is the sciatica region. From the sciatica, this is called as a. This area is the sympathetic nervous system. This area to be known as a sympathetic nervous system. So hopefully, I would like to conclude over here. Just now, we completed the entire part of the upper extremities and also lower extremities as well. Right? Do you have any doubts in the zoom? Uh, I think uh, time is not permitting. You will be there in the evening.